BTEC Applied Science, uh, welcome to the channel. If this is the first time you've been here, I'd like to talk about how to use these videos. There's lots of videos here and I'm going to add some more of them. How would I use them? How would I suggest the best way of using these videos is? Well, uh, first of all, many thanks for all your positive comments. Every day I get one or two people uh, saying how much they appreciate that these videos are here. Uh, I really hope that you're finding them useful. Uh, I did them mostly for my own students, but if other people are using them, that's fantastic. If lots and lots of people use them, then I might actually start making some money out of it. But honestly, that is not my goal. Um, so let's make it clear. My students do the extended certificate. So this is BTEC Applied Science. It's the Edexcel Pearson course. Uh, now, on the extended certificate, they do it over two years. In year one, they do units one and two. And then in year two, they do unit three and an optional unit. If they have me teaching the optional unit, then they'll probably do astronomy because I'm a physics teacher. Uh, there's either astronomy or electricity are the two optional physics ones and um, there's a lot more maths in the electricity so I tend to avoid it. Uh, this channel however will just focus on units one, two and three which everybody doing the extended certificate will cover. Okay, uh, If you want to see what other optional units are, are or for other qualifications then look at page 13 on the specification. Now, each video would be at least one lesson. So basically, don't just spend five minutes watching the video and think, oh, that'll do. What you should really do, unless you're just using it for revision and you're zipping through the videos, what I would do is I would watch the video all of the way through to start with. I would watch the video again, but then I'd pause it every now and then, and I would take notes. I would write things down, take notes every now and then. Then I would have a go at any questions at the end and write down your answers, practice writing down the answers. And then I would go through the video again and I would check my answers. So don't just zip through the videos, use them as a study tool and as I said, each video is a good at least a half hour's work, probably more than that. There are some books that uh, you can buy. Now, the first book, The Revision Guide, which you can get all of these you can get on Amazon. The first one is about 10 quid and it's very good. Uh, the second one is uh, about 30 quid and that's also pretty good as well. Um, I think all of these actually for units 1, 2, 3, uh, or 1, 3, 5, and 7, they, they cover a lot of material. There's a, a revision book um, as well, which has kind of past paper kind of questions in. If you're only going to get one, I would suggest the first one, the revision guide. If you haven't subscribed, could you do so please? Um, the more people subscribe, then the more chances I have of making some money out of this, basically. Uh, tell your teacher, if you're a student, tell your classmates, if you're a teacher, tell your students uh, about the channel. Uh, keep the positive comments coming. Uh, if I make any mistakes, because I am a physicist, I'm not a chemist or a biologist, although I am very clever and know lots of stuff, I do make stupid mistakes, so please let me know if I make any mistakes. And, uh, and hopefully there'll be plenty more videos coming. Uh, unit 2 videos I've been asked to do quite a bit of. Anyway, bye for now.